he wants to withdraw. Where is she? Monday. Monday. Roger. Uh, with objections. What is the object? Uh, there was some uh, error. Then you come with what type of objection? It can be just one. Plus, applicant is a mother who is six years boy, Milots. Yes, Milots has been illegally detained by Milots, the father. And father. now, yes, and father has filed a criminal complaint against me. That for that is what a habeas corpus is. Yes, yes. Habeas corpus is not. He is conscious of the custody. He cannot be said that illegally detained. Permitted to withdraw with the liberty to approach. How will I appropriate remedy? Please, Minister. Oblige, Minister. But if serial number two, three, and four all are fixing date of early year, let the appeal be fixed on 17 January. Or if I request in December month of no, December. 2016, wait, yes, lots of Serial number six, MCO one zero, eight three of twenty two. Mr. Chirak, Yes, the order is at page number eight. Page number eight. Yes. The CJM Viraval directed SP Gir Somnath on 110 2019 to register a fire against the persons who were named in the complaint. The, in the complaint, there were in all six people. Out of them, three were police officials. So, because of having their colleagues' name in the order, the SP Gir Somnath deliberately did not register the FIR. I reminded him that is at page number nine. What is the. This is what is the contempt? For Have non you approach the magistrate. Uh, Have you approached the magistrate? I didn't approach the magistrate for contempt because magistrate doesn't have power. But have you requested that this is the magistrate? And now six months. What is the time uh, limitation for issuing? I mean, one year limitation is there. October. Is there. October. Is there. One year limitation is there. One year limitation is there. One year uh, orders thay aache, limitation na. E mujab mane available thay chhe. E kya re puru thay chhe. Pehli October thi. Three September puru thay chhe. Three September bejar Within one year I can file a complaint, uh, contempt petition. Pandar uh, tarn bejar vis thi COVID na restrictions lagu padega. E pura kya re thay? E bejar baavis ma. Ane further. Supreme Court no order is that if there is a period available, then there is a limitation of period. Now, where is this FIR? In FIR is there. Where is it? FIR was not registered. Not registered at all? Yes. The order of the court has not been complied with. So, CRPC happens. What was your application? It was filed under which provision? Under 200 CRPC. So no, this application was filed under which provision? Under 200? This was a private complaint. Yes. Wherein the order came to be passed by learned CJM. Yes. Directing SP Gir Somna to register an FIR against the person's name in the complaint. 
dated 1 10 2019 the order was served upon them by the court wherein at page number 9 of my petition Then have you made grievance against this? Why you directly filed this contempt? Have you brought to the notice of the concerned judge? Yes, not concerned judge. Concerned court means not <coughs> yeah, yeah, but concerned court chief judicial magistrate gives Sundar that no FIR is lost. He, he is aware. We, why we should call information? No, it's not a question of calling information. May I request a lot to, to turn to page number nine? It is not there. Uh, I, I'll uh, come to what has happened later on. May I request to uh, come to page number nine? Yeah. That is my first application to SP Gir Somna. Dated 7 10 2019. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. To Babad Veravana Namdar Chief Magistrate Sudara Khodari inquiry number so and so na kame FI the Akal Karmana Ukamange to provide me a copy of that FIR. It was not done. Not provided neither registered again on 14 10 2019 this is a second reminder there is no remedy for not complying with the order uh, 13 december i'm here on 13 december lordship director uh, i won't be taking he is at morbi now regular course lots no direction. Uh, CA number 7, M7097 of 22. Uh, Malas, uh, serial number 7 to 10. After yeah. that, uh, serial number 13 to 17. Yes, what is Malers, these are uh, arising out of the common order. Yesterday, some of the matters were listed. My lords have kept it on 22nd November. Notice is issued, please. Malers, notice is issued, notice written on 22nd, please. 7 to 10 and 7 to 10, 13 to 17, 13 to 17, and 19 to 23. Direct service permit. Obliging. Share number 11 and share number 01 and 01 of 22, Mr. Yogi and Sandhya. The direction to pay the lump sum compensation as per the government policy has not been complied with by the court. Is there any LPA? Uh, no LPA has been referred. Page 18. The order of February 2020. Within two months, they are supposed to comply with the directions. What is written as a law? 1st December. In measure. Meanwhile, it is expected that they comply with the order. Okay. Sheet number 12, then sheet number 1, 0, 10, 69, pair of 34 of the judgment, which has not been completed. Page number 69. What is the director? And that is to, that was to be done within eight weeks of from the data part. Seven December. 
Notice written number eight December. Same, same as the written number of the same. Oblige, written number of the same. Oblige, written number of the Statement and backages are not uh, uh, complied. Not complied. Not complied. Returnable on eight. Please oblige. Okay, number thirty-three. M C double one two three twenty-two. Mr. Nilesh Ramsha. Number 34, special CAW 2179 of 22, Mr. Not here. Madam, the petitioner, while performing duty as a SSC in the railways, prevented a contractor from dismantling the railway property. And his immediate superior has stopped him that no, whatever contract is doing, you allow him to do. So he reported that incident to the higher authority. Now, higher authority has taken cognizance of that complaint and inquiry was going on. During that period, Malo, on account of that complaint, the officer became annoyed and prejudiced against me. He issued me a two charges. I have undergone the inquiry proceedings and punishment was imposed. Since no action was taken by the authority on the complaint, which is at page 30, and type copy my lord will find page 31. 30 and 31. But uh, relevant is 38, 30B. You made some complaints? I made a complaint. Oh, the, the contract was awarded to a private party that BSNL Paul may be dismantled from the uh, land. But what he was doing, not only... So what happened due to your complaint? Complaint was under investigation, even at this stage also under investigation. But since I have filed a complaint against the officer, he became annoyed against me. And he, being a disciplinary authority, issued me a two charge sheet 
and uh, inquiry was conducted and punishment was imposed. What type of punishment? One punishment was reduced to a two stage below. What about the charges? Charges was that you disobeyed the order of the higher authority. But the, so why the tribunal has said that it is not maintainable? Yes, the tribunal said it is an internal communication. If Lordship look at the direction of the tribunal. Uh, so where is the order which you challenge before the tribunal? Yeah. The, the, no, I have challenged inaction on the part of the authority, not taking decision on my complaint. There can't be, there can't be. Tribunal don't have that decision. No, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Not only that, as it since complaint is filed, it is under investigation. Then you file special CA, not re, no, 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 no. Lordship may appreciate. What was your prayer in the application? Which uh, is Lordship original may, application. Yes, my there? application, my Lord will find page 16. And the uh, relevant governments, my Lord will find. Government say, what is your prayer? Yeah, uh, prayer, my lord, we find on page 26. Yes, and it starts from page 27. The air to our public please to allow this application, that our public please to hold, declare that impugned, express illegal, arbitrary, unjust, and unpositive inaction on the part of the respondent regarding not considering the complaint of the applicant dated so and so, attest to the respondent number three, as well as dated so and so, attest to the respondent number four regarding harassment and victimization done by senior DSP. On account of that complaint, whatever the harassment was done, that was challenged. So harassment, what type of harassment? Well, like two charge sheets were issued. Is, I was transferred from the post. But what after charge sheet, what happened? Inquiry is going on, right? Inquiry was going on. Punishment was what imposed. What type of the tribunal can't entertain? No, no, I'm sorry. The the uh, let us see what are the powers under this act. The, if Lord will look at the uh, I have enacted a copy of the section 19 of the administrative tribunal act provision i will find page 35 so you are seeking uh, some direction like article 226 from tribunal page, page 35 and accept please yes applications to the tribunal Am I with the Lord is subject to the provisions of this act? A person agreed by any order pertaining to any matter within the jurisdiction of the tribunal. Now, what is the jurisdiction of it? Let us see the entire act. Filing the there is some jurisdiction and powers and authority of tribunal, section 14 onwards. Lord. What are the powers of tribunal? <coughs> recruitment in relation to recruitment, service matter, company member of all India service, person, all service matter, the central government will notably apply effect to under which provision so, your case would fall under which provision of in my respectful submission, the source. I'm, I'm sorry, but it should be supported. It, it should be supported from the provisions. Uh, true. Section 14 at present no. I'm not, I'm, I'll, I'll not. The the duty which was he was performing what? That is different thing. Not, not you true. may challenge the inquiry order or charge it itself. That no, that I was separately challenged. Uh, then this that I was separate. Rightly, tribunal is rightly dismissed. Well, in my respect, would submit sub, sub close. Don't submit. Sub close. Show us from this. All service matters pertaining to uh, a, service a service matter not taking action against your complaint. Is this a service matter? No, no. All service matter pertaining to a service connection with the affairs of the union. Therefore, in my not a service matter, Mister, you are made, making some complaint. They are not taking action. But then but, you you the tribunal has no jurisdiction. You can, take, you can take a, I mean file petition under two twenty six or see, seek some appropriate read. Not under this. Uh, Tribunal has no such powers rightly held by the tribunal. But in, in, in my respectful submission, yeah. the, the matter pertains to a service in connection with the yeah. affairs of. What do you say, Mr. Prelate? First. No, what I'm trying to. Because of this. What I'm trying to. Impose heavy cost. I'm sorry. What I'm trying to yes. point out. What I'm trying to point out. Don't waste time. Then I may be permitted to withdraw. I will file a uh, approval. Withdraw. 
I'm I'm only against the uh, the finding of the finding of the no such jurisdiction. I'm okay. Yes. Lord, before I begin on merits, you know, uh, your Lord Jesus will only tell you page 92. Page? 92. Yes. The bottom left of your Lord Jesus will only 92. Isha? I think uh, at one stage the affidavit was filed. The government assistant government leader is drawing attention of this court to page 92. Let this go before another bench. Please. Otherwise, I don't have. Uh, I think in the interest of everybody, I, that it is not. I had to point out. Oh, yes, sir, no problem. Otherwise, I don't have any problem. I'm not going to raise an issue. So but yes. Personally, you might not have any problem. But yes, in yes, future, but your client, we don't know. Please. Therefore, obliged. After this disposal of this matter, you are you are not in control of your client. Yes, yes, definitely. <laughs> Please, highly obliged. Nowadays, even in, yes, in the pendency, we don't have to control. Please, Please Mr. Obliged. So number 39, <coughs> LPR 1245 20, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22. Please, Your Honor. The petitioner was Ayurveda doctor in government hospital. The petitioner sought voluntary retirement. Recommendations initially, the cast was made. It was forwarded and thereafter it was turned down. Petitioner on earlier round of litigation preferred the petition wherein order came to be passed by the Honorable Court because reliance is placed on the order of the Honorable Apex Court wherein directions have been issued for granting benefit of higher pay scale to the Ayurveda medical officers as well. Lord Shishma kindly have a glance at page 67. No, no, he's some other doctor or you were there? No, no he, what happened? That I went no, earlier. Back. You said the earlier round of litigation. Yes, er, earlier I, I was there. That is page 69, 18923 of 15, which was filed by the petitioner. He, oh. in, and order was, and, and my prayers were. What was your prayer? Lordship. Page number 71. Be pleased to issue appropriate or direction, direct the respondent authorities to pass appropriate order for granting, disbursing the benefit of higher pay scale as per so and so, GR so and so, so and so, and alternatively, directions for representation. Decide yeah. kindly what now, as Honorable Court issued directions, page 74, your lordships, yeah. and uh, operative portion, uh, page 78. The directions uh, were for issued. Lordship, Lordship. She approached before the authorities and page 91, your Lordship. They'll consider the said application of the approach in light of the fact of the case and in light of the application. Lordship. Now, Rose, don't page, be in hurry. Let us go through the directions. Lordship. I, I, I'm sorry. Benefit. Directions on page 78. It is paran. 
नाइन और पैरा एट बी दैट एज इट मे पैरा एट इट एज इमर्ज फ्रॉम द रेकॉर्ड दैट ऑलमोस्ट फोर्टीन ईयर्स आफ्टर द पिटिशन रिटायर्ड ऑन वॉलंटरी रिटायरमेंट द पिटिशन सबमिटेड एन एप्लीकेशन रिप्रेजेंटेशन एंड डिमांडेड बेनिफिट ऑफ हायर पे स्केल इट हैज ऑल्सो इमर्ज दैट said application representation is pending before the competent authority and any final no there after what happened i i, I prefer a representation your lordships page number 91 i had requested the authorities that in case of other similarly situated ayurved doctors the benefit has been granted the appeal by in case of other medical officers appeal was also rejected preferred by the government confirming the law to the effect that ayurved medical officers are entitled to benefit honorable supreme court of india has issued order that all all medical officers retired or not non retired should be extended 50 your petition is not entertained by lord sir please your lordships now kindly have a glance at the order page number q Yeah. My prayer, I must point out. There yeah. are two petitioner in this petition has prayed for following reliefs. Be pleased to issue appropriate writ order and or direction. Be pleased to direct the concerned respondent authority to grant the pay of higher pay scale and all the consequential benefits of the petitioner. Fifty percent of the total amount which has been accrued, which has become due and payable, may kindly be granted and paid to the petitioner considering the order dated so and so passed by the Honorable Supreme Court of India. be pleased to pass appropriate order directing the concerned respondent authorities to consider and decide the representation related so and so in print relief i may not read the case of the petitioner is that petitioner should be granted the benefit of compliance of the interim order of the supreme court dated so and so facts would indicate that petitioner had approached the court by filing special ca wherein petitioner had prayed for a relief which has been quoted by the court in advance while disposing of the petition the relief reads as under then para 4 which i have already read the relief assertion in the petition as reflected in the order would indicate that petitioner was working as a medical officer class 3 had voluntarily retired in the year 2001 that fact was disputed in the said petition as is evident from the rejoinder filed in the petition submitted by uh, as petition submitted by mr soni to assert that retreat that petitioner was on class 2 post seniority list dated reflects that petitioner was already retired despite these categorical findings in this petition on so and so the petition present petition is filed claiming almost the same relief though worded differently petitioner has asked for compliance of an interim order so and so which in fact asked for the benefit of tiku pay commission which is subject matter under consideration of the before the supreme court the letters patent appeal division bench so and so present the petitioner is aware that such benefits are available only on class 2 employees in the medical profession as is evident not only from the order of the division bench with the petitioner as annex but no, also where this your petition earlier Special C one eight nine two three of fifteen was filed. In fact, by did you not bring to the notice of learned single judge? In fact, kindly see even seniority oh, no. list is referred to lordship. Lordship, you filed a writ petition in two thousand fifteen. Yes, kindly Now, see that. I'm sorry. Sir, I'm sorry. The order which you are relying of Supreme Court is dated eight nine two thousand fourteen. Please, your lordship. You were aware about this order, was it not brought to the notice of the learned single judge? In fact, what happened? You are again and again asking similar relief. Therefore, learned single judge rejected. But even directions were issued for deciding representation. Now, what happened? May I point out that in those group of petitions, which is the subject matter before the honourable Supreme Court, petitioner was not a party. Others were party, but honourable Supreme Court issued directions that all should be granted fifty percent. That is the order of two thousand fourteen September. So kindly have a glance at page number ninety six. The government. Where is that? All should be granted. Where is? Kindly see that is page number Supreme Court order, and thereafter government's page number. You know, Lordship, may kindly have a glance at page number sixty seven. Sixty-seven lordships. 
Leave granted. The Supreme Court atom are you? I argued. Yes. Argued or you just no no no. I also argue because group of better. So I don't know much. May put argue for Kareli. It lot time lito. Half an hour. <laughs> it was not <laughs> with a view to get rid of. But <laughs> <laughs> yes. having heard a learned counsel for the parties. It is directed that the state of Gujarat shall comply with the order of the High Court up to 50% within two months. Needless to say, in case the appeal is dismissed, the respondent shall be entitled to the balance of 50% with interest, which shall be determined at the time of final he now what happened to this final hearing. Now, final hearing, it was notified again. Partial hearing took place. I, I argued in so it is pending. Finally, thing is pending. It, it is pending, your lordships. And now, apropos to that order, kindly have a glance at page 96. In 2015 itself, page 96. Yeah. Namdar Supreme Court ma dakhal tel so and so na prativadi one arogya parivar kalyan vibhagna choran una tharao mujab uchtar pagar dron labo manjur karwa babat. Considering this all history of petitions, they have granted 50% benefits. Now, why your case is rejected? Where is the, your order? In On fact, ground your case is... my, they are not considering. So, I have prayed in the petition that let my case, you kindly consider the same. That is the issue. But here, what happened, your lordships? One, uh, I, there is one problem, your lordships. I must state. Because uh, it seems that my case was not, uh, they were not considering. Direct the concern, respondent also to grant, you are prayed to grant, not to consider. Lordships. And what happened that I was already treated as uh, class two. I was become class, class two. That's what it was a reason. But unfortunately, my colleague who appeared, he should have pointed out that I was class two in the seniority list. My name was already reflected at C number 233 because. All he only can pass that you make a representation. Fresh representation. Let him make fresh representation. Because what the learned student observes is that he is in class 3. Ah, but, but then he says that he is in class 3. At that point of time, he could have been relevant. But then, then let him make a representation. That our argument is going to be a longish argument. Now my advocate Mr. N.K. Mazmuda states that the fetish, appellant, original fetishness is a class two employees. However, this fact was not brought to the people of the Lord Second Church by producing appropriate, by relevant documents. He therefore will submit that he is ready and the appellant is ready and willing to make a representation to the state of Sudan. The detailed representation. Relying upon several decisions as well as government regulations, which have been produced along with over and above the resolutions produced along with the petition. Petition and appeal. Is not appeal. He therefore seeks permission to withdraw this appeal. <coughs> Appellant is permitted to make a representation, initial representation, seeking the relief straight. In the petition, after receiving the representation, the authority, after giving the authority of hearing, says decide the representation in accordance with law as early as possible, preferably within a period of Lordship. 12 weeks from the date of receipt of the representation. The authority shall decide the representative without being influenced by. The order passed by Learned Singh does that in the caption. Lordships, oblige a lordships. I am grateful. Oblige a lordships. Direct. Yes. Uh, 40. Mr. AGP, oh, this Mr. is that group of matter. 44 
uh, address is not given. Proper address. You are appearing? Please, Lord. I have Which matter? Uh, for serial number 47, 48, 44. All and matters are kept on 70. Oblige me. If I leave the number. 44, you, what would you do? 44 million, I million, million. Milord, Milord, I have instruction. 44? Yes, yes, Milord. I have only that copy may be given to me. Uh, or 17. Oblige me. No, no. 44, Sanjay Kumar Kamlesh Prasad. What is your name? Sandeep Munja, sir. And yesterday I have filed Lordship VP in all four matters. I am obliged. Uh, notice and address matter, address purpose, number 54. SCRF 100525. Who is the petitioner father? Uh, mother. Mother. Parents. What is the age of the girl? Three, three, three years. Three years. Three years of my child. It's a minor child, boy, who's a three-year-old, uh, in custody of father, the father. Oh, okay. habeas corpus you are finding? There is a litest of this. Person. What is that? The judgment, Lord. The habeas corpus is always maintainable in a child, no. Lord, who is below age of five years. The, the legal custody of Lord below the five years would be with the mother. That's And she forced to leave the house. Or she is from the Sikkim. She went to Sikkim. Yours. Where is the respondent's father? Mother. The is the mother, right? Yes. yes. The father, the case is the father has eloped with the son. Child. The search is going on. Uh, not, have... not present. Yes. No. 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 Where is the police officer? Huh? Sir, my advocate was to appear for it. I served with the copy Kunj of the. Shah or Maithili Shah? Yes. Keep it back. Sir, you are Maithili Shah? Yes. You are for whom? Father? Yes. Why you are sitting in the. You are supposed to assist the court? Where is your client? Um, He's coming. Yeah. Keep it back. No. No, keep it in second session. Two thirty. Chamber man. He will take up in the chamber. Please. 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 Mr. Patel, we will inform you as and when this well, well. child is here. Please. Yeah. Your Lordship, may I request for some time in this matter on behalf of Mr. Desai? As we inform other side. <laughs> I will be appearing for the state, Maros. So he may make a statement, otherwise, what will survive here, Maros? Because a a very old not... matter, the no. appellant herein was aggrieved by some action of the management of the school where she was serving at the relevant, relevant point in time. Now, as to whether today it will survive or not, the prayers before the learned single judge were to provide her a safe environment to work in the school. 2010. Yes, my lord. So, whether today it will survive or not, my lord, needs to be verified at okay. their end. All Mr. Desai. Just your Lordship, we are not having all the papers. So, we are 2010, Mr. Mr. Desai has recently appeared in this matter, my lord. Earlier, some whatever. Call him. 2.30, we will take up. Yes. 2.30.
question number 58, HF5, 3, 5, 5, 20, is the fifty years. Show me B1. Keep it back. So number 59, HF6, 21, 21, Mr. HF1, so 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 Mr.
पोस्ट ऑफ मिस्टर क्लार्क स्टाफ नर्स स्टाफ नर्स यस यू आर नॉट एट होम मिस्टर लॉर्ड स्टाफ नर्स इज एडवर्टाइजमेंट इज गिवन लॉर्ड लॉर्ड दैट इज लॉर्ड लॉर्डशिप में कैंडली सी पेज थर्टीन मिलो लॉर्ड देर Lord, the certain for, condition on page fourteen. Total forty-eight post. Yes, Lord. Here. Yeah. Lord, then after page fourteen may be seen. Here. Yeah. Lord, there are uh, general conditions. Mm. Lord, Lord, you may kindly consider uh, item number four on page fourteen. Here. Yeah. अन्यथा गुजरात सरकार से द्वारा मान्य करेल होए तेवा अनुसूचिति जनजाति आ अने सेक्शन पचास वर्ग के लिए नाम दिया गया है अनामत नो लाभ आप मरवा पात्र रह से आंगे गुजरात राज्य ना सक्षम अधिकारी श्री द्वारा इच्छु थे ला कराएल जातियों के नु प्रमाण पत्र ज मान्य करें से तो दिस इज़ दी कंडीशन ब्रो फर्स्ट ब्लड दें लॉस Rajasthan OBC meter. Therefore, we have rejected his selection. On who has issued the certificate? Gujarat Rajya na Saksham Adhikari issue karu. He is not a yeah, uh, Lord candidate of Gujarat, Lord. He is uh, in the Rajasthan and he has applied in the post. So he don't have any uh, certificate of the Gujarat state. Okay. That is the precondition. So yeah. then, item number uh, nine on next page may be seen. Yeah. Ume dware niya tarji patrak ma baril viga to samagra bharti prakriya mathe akri ganwa maav se. Ane tena purao kachari dware magwa maave tiare asal ma raju karwana reshe anya tha arji patrak ne jete tabak ke rad ganwa maav se. So, if now blood... this, this, some written examination was there. There no, was no return. Exam. No, no. Only no. you have invited some. Invited ad. Ad. Now what happened? Not then. Not law. Not only two more condition may be permitted yeah. to read. Not item number ten. Umedware arji ma darshal category ma paachar thi category badalwani rajuat grahiyar akwam ausen. So this is also condition that he he has applied under the HCBC post. Where is that application? That also I have to point out. But then after only one uh, item number twelve. R G P Swikarwa Jama Karwa Ange General Category na. Lord, my learned friend is Lord Item B. Anujati Anuju Jati Anuj. Whatever in Nargik ni koi pan bank of Baroda ni saakham R G P pete rupiah so vatta bank charge saapana reshe. So he has applied in the SCBC post he and paid, paid 100, 100 rupees. rupees. Yes. But the judgment is that he may pay 100 rupees, but that cannot be treated as, it should be treated as SCBC. If some other conditions are this, we will consider. We have, this, Lord, you... this, this four condition I have relying. Okay. Because of these four condition, it is breached. This application now, is, is rejected. Application? Yes, Lord. Lord, on page nineteen, yes, yeah. that is the Lord uh, online application. Yes, preferred. वडोदरा महानगर पालिका द्वारा प्रसिद्ध करो मावेल लेकिन परीक्षा सेंट में ना पड़ो इट्स ऑनलाइन प्रवेश पत्र ऑनलाइन ऑनलाइन एप्लीकेशन इज इनवाइटेड दैट इज ही हैज फिल अप अब परीक्षा लिखित होती ना ना लिखित क्या सो द लक आई एम सॉरी आई एम सॉरी आई स्टैंड करेक्ट एन एक्शन आई एम सॉरी यू से इट इज ओनली सच यस ओके चलो यस यस Lord, page twenty-one. My learned friend is writing. 
નવ પૂરું નામ આ સો એન્ડ સો યસ એને કે આમાં એસસી એસસી તો એવું માંગી છે એને કહ્યું છે યસ મેમ યસ ધ એપ્લિકેશન ઇઝ ફોર ધ વેરી ગુડ but there blood yes at the time of verification yes produce the hcbc certificate of the rajasthan not that is on page 26 item number 4 ja melo last column જાહેરાત ની જોગવાઈ ક્રમાંક ચાર મુજબ ગુજરાત સરકાર શ્રી દ્વારા માન્ય કરેલ જાતીય પ્રમાણપત્ર રજૂ કરી શકે સર્ટિફિકેટ ઓફ ધી રાજસ્થાન એપ્લિકેશન ઇઝ રિજેક્ટેડ આઈ એમ ઓનલી not relying upon the 2018 judgment no, where is your decision uh, this is uh, this is the li- waiting list you have said yes now why why learned single judge is allowed no learned single judge has allowed or uh, allowed on the ground of different judgment but he has learned, with respect not learned single judge has not at all con- taken my contention with regard to the 2018 supreme court judgment bro that is i have already referred in my reply and stated that because of the other state he cannot claim the benefit in the gujarat state and that is the pre condition number 4 no, and the 2018 yes 2018 supreme court judgment yes sir. સુપ્રીમ કોર્ટ બ્લોટ સિક્સ ટુ સિક્સ ડબલ સેવન સિક્સ It is 2018 10 SEC 312. Now, I have taken from the uh, High Court Lord judgment on the uh, computer side. Therefore, it is different. Lord, I rely on paragraph 30 if it is same, you know, 3-0. Maybe some difference is there, but... this is the even migrated persons are not treated yes 
But this is the so honorable Supreme Court said that the if the you are uh, SCBC from the another state, then you cannot claim in the parent state, bro, as it is a precondition of the state government. Bro, there at present, bro, I requesting that the state is necessary party because all the procedure and selection only corporation is required to be done. But bro, ultimately sanctioning everything is by the state government. That contention also I have taken in my reply, but he has not joined the state as a party. So oh, this advertisement is as per issue. As per the state government instruction, I have issued. Where is that? Have you stated? Yes, yes. Everything is stated in the Lord Lordship. May kindly see my reply on page thirty-seven. Yeah. Are you relying upon some government policy? Yes, because the, uh, this is the uh, government has suggested that I should appoint and in case of necessity, government may call for all these candidates who are selected and they may transfer also to another department of the state of Gujarat. But their lordship may kindly uh, see that page 39. Yeah. Uh, paragraph 4. I say that in the present uh, advertisement, there are four, uh, 48 posts of staff nurse, which compile schedule class 3, so and so, so and so, and general category. I say that in the state advertisement, it has been specifically stated that the provision of entire establishment oh, expenses of relevant. the state Why? recruitment. Why all this? Why? My Lord's query, my Lord, that because of state government is the involved in this petition. Specific contention I have taken. So, paragraph 5, what is that? You got to say recruitment given on the website of government. Yes. Government. Their condition I have read on page 41, that condition number 4, 8. But with GR, they, you should have told this. It. So therefore, as per the government instruction, we have no, given the advice. You must have received the government instruction. How can you ask For what purpose state is necessary? But it is mentioned in the state advertisement no, itself. State is not necessary for RT. You produce whatever you have received that you are supposed to follow the direction for keeping reserves. I will produce. Product. You should have produced it. I will. What is this judgment? Let us see first. Yes, yes. Judgment paragraph 30 may be permitted to read if it is same 3 0. Page number. Page number may be different because of my citation is different. But same three zero starts with what? Uh unhealth unsustainably, therefore, it can be said that a person being mm. a dual caste, my lord got it. It starts with the word unhesitantly. Therefore, it can be said that a person belonging to scheduled caste. Yes, scheduled caste in the one state cannot be uh, deemed to be scheduled caste person in relation to any other state to which they migrate for the, the purpose of employment or education. The expression in uh, relation to that state or union territory and for the purpose of this constitution used in the article 341 and 342 of the constitution of India would mean that the benefits of reservation period of for by the constitutional would stand confirm, confined to the geographically territories of a state union uh, territory in respect of which uh, the no, list of schedule are appointed. Oh, that is your no, my that uh, you are OBC from other state? Yes. I am OBC from other state, my lord. There is no doubt about that. My lord, the application was filed with regard to because the uh, we, I belong to 28 chart, that is uh, 28 chart uh, community member. That is relevant to Rajasthan. 
which is also there in the national uh, OBC uh, list now, and I also have produced. On on that basis, I have filed an application, uh, online application, and therefore my learned uh, uh, the other side has selected me in general OBC category. Reason being that my lord, uh, I have received more marks than the person who who got last selected in general category. My lord, see, kindly see page page number twenty three. At uh, what uh, I'm I'm there at scene number nine, my lord. It is state category. I have stated as general OBC category, and I received more uh, marks than other, more marks than general category. Please, your lordship, that okay. is what the law is, my lord. Yes, sir, that is the law, Mr. Please, sir. Lordship. And I'm also relying upon the ninth judge bench of the honourable Supreme Court. Where that is the law. If he, Mr. Your lordship, I kindly appreciate that is the condition, condition in no. the advertisement. So he said. might not be OBC. Forget OBC, but he is having more more marks than the last person who is in general category. So there also, brother, I have read that he cannot change the subsequent from category. He is not selected in S C B C. Lesser marks than the last person of general category, then you are right. He is more marks. He is entitled for that, which is now. This is the judgment. Yeah, nineteen ninety three. That is relied upon by Leonard Singer. No. My Lord, there, there are other judgments. Which, which, Law, which is the judgment? Nineteen. Uh, it is year nineteen ninety three. Page number four seventy seven. Number four. Page number four seventy seven. Page number four seventy seven. Page number four seventy seven. Page number four seventy Not OBC, but, but he cannot age, change, my lord. That now, whether any age uh, relaxation is given to you? No, my lord. No. This relaxation that is also covered, my lord. My honourable sir, but to uh, play equal equal level field, my lord. That is what. Ah, uh, that is we know that judgment. He will have sorrow for you, but it was Emma Gray. That is the judgment, right? Uh, yes, that sir, is my lord. Condition is said that right. if you paid only hundred rupees, uh, then you will be considered in active with no, only. No, no, no. That is that is. Different yes, judgment is there, Mister. Judgment, I have no comments, my lord. No, no, you can't. We nobody can comment. Yes, yes. <laughs> How can you comment? You can don't think of commenting. <laughs> Sorry. Where is the list? List is manner. Page number twenty-three, manner. Twenty-three. Please, Your Lordship. It is a provisional list of candidates qualified for selection list for the post of staff member. Hmm. You are. What is your name? Uh, my name is Narendra Ridharam Gunawa. At serial number nine. 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 I received one thirty-one marks, and the ah. last person who has got selected is at uh, serial number twenty-two. No. That is one twenty-five point five. So he is having more marks. He is bound to. Please, Your Lordship. Sub- for all purposes, he would be. Now, my lord, at page, what is this judgment? It is a uh, it is judgment about the reservation policy, my lord. Mm. At that particular time, my lord, it is a uh, Indra Sani person, you know, Vijay, my lord. Wherein, at uh, my lord, at page number five sixty six. Page yeah. The para is start from the para is ninety four a. The relevant portion is uh, the last uh, the last line in this connection, my lord. Yeah. In this connection, it is uh, well to remember that the reservation under Article Sixteen Four do not operate like a communal reservation. It may well happen that some members belonging to say scheduled castes get selected in the open competition field on the basis of their own merit. They will not be counted against the quota no. reserved for the scheduled uh, scheduled castes. Uh, they will be treated as open competition candidates. So you had more more marks than the Please. last person who is from general category. Please, Your Lordship. And even recent Supreme Court judgment, my lord, I have. This is, the, this is the judgment we know, sir. Lord, my is, submission is with submission regard is, to the advertisement. Condition is already yeah, there. But he is having more marks. That direct judgment is there. Is more marks. He is if he is from below twenty two, then you are right. That is not OBC under state of Gujarat. But he is in the, anybody can appear. He is not claiming, but he has system. applied in the SCB. Whatever. Therefore, he cannot change the uh, his conversion. Can. 
एप्लीकेशन इन दी जनरल कैसे
paragraph 28 paragraph 28 How it is applicable in the present? Relaxation and not the in the advertisement it is clear that whatever you have applied that will be considered your application in that course only. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry. Now let us read the order of learned symptoms. Yes, please. Page one. Page J. Yeah. Now the reasoning start from page M. 5.2. Note that Honorable Ford query was that how many courses is vacant? It is still today not 48 is filled up. Upon instruction, planet allocate for the responding corporate uh, state that he against 48 posts uh, advertised uh, 26 were of general category, but out of which 22 candidates were selected for general category, out of which 19 candidates have joined. So, post is still vacant. So, uh, my submission is that again the advertisement will be done. He may apply in the general category. Right. <laughs> that is my subject. No. But then uh, the court is. No, which is the 2009 5 SCC? Lava. 2009 5 SCC. Lava. Lava. What were the facts, Mr. You apprised the ratio we what was the fact of that case? Yes, so whether he had filed, yes, read it. 
Paragraph? Number three. No, no, short fact, not entire. What is here? Yes. This is not the fact. The person who was directed to be appointed in general category, what was how he has filled up the form? Active acts on here? Just facts. facts. Oh, right. uh, the government of Andhra Pradesh used to issue orders laying, uh, laying down norms to be adopted for filing up the vacancy in Group 1 service, uh, services in the state comprising of deputy collectors, uh, um, uh, commercial desk officer, assistant uh, prohibition and excess superintendent, assistant commissioner of labor, deputy superintendent of police category 2, police pass, and so and so. The selection process takes, uh, takes place in two cases. The first uh, being holding of an examination for the purpose of shortlisting of the candidates, and second being holding of the main examination followed by interview. Both uh, both for the preliminary examination as also the main examination, two criteria uh, used to be adopted: one for the general category candidates and other for the reserve reserve category candidates. The majority of the said procedure came up for the consideration before the uh, before the division bench of Andhra Pradesh High Court as far as back in 1984 in uh, as Zafir Sahib was a state of Andhra Pradesh reported so and so. Indisputably, a similar question came, uh, came up for consideration in, uh, again in uh, so and so. In as Zafir, the contention of, this, uh, of the state was that the reservation of post used to be made by admitting the candidates for examination itself and not in the final selection with the ratio of uh, uh, 1 is to 15. The question which does Pose was uh, as to whether admission of candidates for their main examination by applying compensatory uh, preference even at, uh, at the stage of admission if the main examination is what violative of Article 14 and 16 of the Constitution of India. Taking note of the provision of contained in Article 14, 16, and 335 of the Constitution of India, the High Court held the purpose of holding a screen test is to ensure the basic standard of eligibility of the candidates and even at the stage. Or admission in the main examination, the rule of reservation uh, post cannot be uh, applied. Reservation for applica uh, applicants is not permissible under 16.4. The learned advocate general assembly is that if the uh, reservation rule is not followed, even at the stage of admitting candidates for main examination, a reserve, a reserve vacancy is likely to remain unfilled. It is nobody's case that as many candidates as there are reserved vacancies have not been qualified for the main examination. Is there any rule of election based on reservation for a pass in the SSC examination or intermediate examination or B examination? There can be no relaxation or waiver of a basic standard of performance. There can be no compromise with the maintenance of administrative efficiency, which is barred by Article 3 of the Constitution. Time is now right for, uh, for courts to lay down the limits. To the lowering of the standard for the purpose of compensatory preferences. The in intensity of compensatory preference cannot be at the expense of even uh, and uh, handedness of, uh, and merit and cannot be proliferate to such an extent as to uh, prove fatal to the basic proficiency and efficiency. The intensity must vary depending on the nature of the compensatory discrimination, whether it is a preliminary or individual benefit or whether the quality of the public service is directly affected. Krishna. Just Krishna here, Jay, observed in the state of Kerala versus uh, NM Thomas. 2007, 8 SCC, page 7, 8, 5. Yeah, yeah. 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 Citation for the equivalent of the equivalent of the equivalent of the
which is the paragraph relevant
when the last candidate of general category he shall be treated as not so shall be appointed on the post in question Bill came to be admitted by coding and went from 28 to 2020 on the same day. <clears> on <throat> the same day, when disposing of the civil application for entry, the interpretation of the order was stayed. That the appeal is. The short text arise from the record article. Let the appellant corporation <clears throat> issue an advertisement for filling up of 48 posts for staff nurse. Out of forty eight posts, twenty six posts were of general nature, twelve seats for STBC, seven seats for STBC, and seven three seats for civil class was reached. The scale was that the appointment was to be made for six monthly salary at which is 19,950 initially for five years and thereafter, there for the seventh day condition. <clears throat> General conditions were also referred in the advertisement. Like the candidates who are seeking reservations under SCST or SCBC would be granted to those candidates only to whom appropriate certificate has been issued by a competent officer of state of Utah. The petitioner filled up his application and appeared in the examination. The corporation publish the provisional list of candidates qualified for selection for post of staff nurse. In connection with the advertisement issue <coughs> by corporation itself.
doesn't respond. Obtained 131 marks. Out of 131 marks out of 200? Only one. Hundred. Hundred. Okay, one thirty one mark. Is not mentioned. But it's taken a mark. So out of two hundred mark, and what's shown at serial number nine in the same provisional list. <clears throat> Next, as per the procedures, this track and refer in the advertisement itself, the documents were thought to be very. At that time, the corporation found that the prison respondent does not belong to SCBC from state of Gujarat and no certificate was issued by any office from state of Gujarat that he is from SCBC and therefore he was not selected on the post of staff nurse. Next time, being agreed with the decision of the petitioner, five caption with petitioner and challenge the same on various grounds. <clears throat> in response to notice issued by the Senate Single Judge, an affidavit reply was filed. Affidavit reply date of 4th August 2020 was signed by the corporation. And of course, grant of relief prayed by the petition. The Senate Single Judge. After considering documentary evidence produced on record, as well as various decision of the Honorable Apex Court, it that since the petitioner, original petitioner, had obtained was merit meritorious in obtaining more marks than the last person appointed from general category directed the corporation to appoint the petitioner on the post of staff nurse. Hence, this up. <coughs> Next, Mr. Nilesh Pandyal, let me advocate appearing for the corporation. And permanently submitted that the learned singles that has committed grave error in accepting the petition filed by the present respondent by taking us to the advertisement in question, we will submit. It was made clear in the advertisement that to as per the guidelines issued by state of Gujarat, that reservation to different categories shall be granted only to those candidates in whose favor appropriate 
कास्ट सर्टिफिकेट एज बीन इश्यू बाय कंप्यूटेंट ऑफिसर स्टेट ऑफ the same <coughs> condition till you like know, by taking us to condition number 4 lucky like, nandi he would submit that when the applicant has applied for taking the examination written examination he has applied under obc category <coughs> and therefore now we cannot pass appointment under general category <coughs> he would submit that once he has applied and the general category from a as per condition 9 of the advertisement he cannot change his status from obc to general category he will submit that it is an undisputed fact that he is not and scbc or obc from state of gujarat and therefore he is not entitled for benefits given posting of under the reservation reserve seat in support of his decision which judgment you are rely first rely 2018 2018 yes in support of his submission mr it's an beer singh wala na so judge ha in support of his submission he has relied upon a decision of the honorable appeals court in case of beer singh versus delhi jal board and others 2018 then supreme court case space 31 पैराग्राफ थर्टी थ्री टू थर्टी टू थर्टी फोर थर्टी थ्री थर्टी एंड थर्टी थ्री थर्टी टू थर्टी थ्री एंड थर्टी फोर इन सपोर्ट ऑफ इन Places emphasis in observations made by the honourable appeals court in the state of case in paragraph thirty-four. And we submit that he cannot claim his status as SCBC in state of Gujarat since he is not from the same class. is from in the state class from state of rajasthan you are from rajasthan yes from rajasthan he therefore will submit that another simple test what for to have entered in the petition <laughs> the pandya will further submit that neither the authority nor the court can relax the condition with regard to 
conditions of getting appointment. And, and all the conditions are required to be scrupulously followed. In support of his submission, he has relied upon a revision of the Honorable Effect Court in case of Vedanga Talukar versus Taitubullah Khan and others. EIR 2012 Supreme Court. Paragraph which paragraph? Twenty eight. Paragraph twenty eight and twenty nine. The same. We therefore will submit the appeal. Allowed and the other institutions of the profession. On the other hand, Mr. Bhuvanesh Gehlo, when the advocate entering the respondent, has supported the findings of the law and the judge and requested to dismiss the He will submit that it is an Undisputed fact that he obtained 131 marks. After 200 years, he obtained 131 marks and was shown at serial number 19 provisional of list of provisional list of candidates qualified for selection list. For the post of staff <clears throat> he will submit. In Mr. Gohello, how many persons are appointed? 22? How many persons are appointed? Appointed. Uh, that, that I have uh, not the case of the court number. But uh, 22, this is. Uh, this page 23. How many persons are appointed? 22 is appointed? Oh, my God. Mr. Pandya, who are appointed? Who are appointed? But that I have general, it is mentioned in my reply. You don't know. They are not sharing. They are not sharing. They are not Twenty two have been selected. That is yes, twenty two. That I have mentioned in my okay. It is observed by the Lord of Simple Judge also. Yes. Twenty two is selected. That order is okay. He will submit that out of the selection list, 22 persons have been appointed, selected, and 19 have been posted. Last person who has been appointed has obtained. 125.5 marks, whereas the present respondent has obtained 131 marks. He therefore will submit that, therefore, by all means, he is meritorious candidate than the person last selected by the assembly. He will submit that he might, since, since he has appeared in a competitive examination and has obtained more marks than the last candidates. 
the authority cannot deny his appointment only on the ground that he had filled up his form as OBC, though might he might be reserve class in another state. <clears throat> this aspect has been dealt with by Honorable Ask Apex Court in various decisions. Starting from the case of Indra Sohani versus Union of India, EIR 1992, Supreme Court, page 477 and onwards. Kitla judges are here. Nine judges bench. Indriya Lakshmi number nine judges bench. Constitutional bench of nine judges. Where is that observation you say? Paragraph? Page, page number uh, 566. Ah, okay, yeah. <coughs> this connection. 566, last night. Oh, one. You will submit that while dealing with Reservations. Reservation. Uh, provisions for reservations. Under the Constitution of India. It has been. Observe that that even a member of the reserve class found more meritorious. He should be treated as open competition candidate. This sir Hellot has also relied upon a decision of the honorable appellate court. In case of AP Public Service Commission versus Baloji Badhona, 2009, five Supreme Court cases, page one. Comma Rajesh Kumar Daria, Daria versus Rajasthan Public Service Commission, 2007, eight SCC, page <coughs> 785. UP Power Corporation Limited and other versus Nitin Kumar and others. 
an unreported judgment. Of the Division Bench of Allah by High Court in Special Appeal Number T10 2015. He has also relied in support of his submission. He has also relied upon the latest decision of the Honorable Apex Court in case of Radhana Singh Dhanji versus Pinky Asad. Etc. in civil appeal number 7781 of 2021 and allied appeal. Judgment dated Latina Gun December 60, 2021. Who submitted? Therefore, say decisions, the honorable effects for Relied upon the case of Indira Rasawi to get it super. And as they said, the candidate might be a particular class. Is found more meritorious, then he would be inside at general end. He therefore will submit that the objective is next. We have heard the other end. The application filed by the respondent. Application for taking the examination filed by the respondent. Comma, the provisional list of candidates produced by Appellate Corporation. <clears throat> And the reason for rejecting the candidature of the present respondent is that he does not belong to SCBC from state of It is at the outset it is not in dispute that the present respondent is not OBC or SC from OBC or SCBC class from state of Gujarat since he has not claimed that or has produced any certificate. Has produced any certificate or claim that he belongs to a particular class of state of Gujarat. And therefore, there is no question of applicability of racial laid down by the Honorable Apex Court in case of Deep Singh to Bracket Sutra. Relied upon by Lanthe Advocates. If the application, if the application is produced, he has stated that he belongs to OBC. To 
is, is good. Where the subsequent to the examination held by a corporation, comma, when the result was declared on a provisional list of candidates qualified for the selection list for the post of nurse was published. The appellant, the respondent was shown at serial number 9, having obtained 131 marks. Obtained 131 marks out of 200. <coughs> It is also not in this that the last candidate who has been selected and appointed is less meritorious than the appellant since he had obtained 125.5 marks out of two. Is on this yes. Though he might have filled the form as OBC, but having found, having uh, obtained more marks, he is supposed to be selected, competing with other candidates who might be of general category or any other class. It cannot be said that once a member from scheduled class or from reserve class who remain in that particular class, though he might be much more meritorious than the other persons who had competed in the examination. Keeping this aspect all these aspects have been dealt with by the Honorable Appeals Court in case of Indra Shaun. It has been specifically observed in paragraph 94a and particularly in the last portion, we ask and highlight that. Of the associate paragraph, it has been categorically observed that if a person from a particular class is more meritorious, each shall be treated as an open competition. And I have paragraph is reproduced here in the year in case. Similar is the ratio laid down by the effect court in case of AP Public Service Commission, Sufra. As well as Rajesh Kumar Daria in the record center. In the latest session of the Honorable Apex Court, in case of Sadhana Singh Dangi into Bracket Sutra, 
जो है बोले एफएक्स को डीलिंग विथ सिमिलर टाइप ऑफ रिजर्वेशन paragraph so let me so as observed per on the same line paragraph 12 is relevant which is reproduced here here considering the above ratio let down the double line It cannot be said that the Lovett indulgence has relaxed the condition of any condition while considering the case of the present discontent, and therefore, that meant in case of Ed Ganga Talukda, the Uvega Sutta relied by Mr. Pandya is not applicable. डिस्कस various decision of the honorable appeals court the same car reproducing in view of the above aspect we don't find any merits in this appeal and the same is dismissed simply to give by record here try request for extending for it please request is rejected Lordy, single judge has granted some time. What direction is given by Lordy, single judge? File contempt. No. I'm not wise. Only one person, my Lord, has granted this day. Rejected to loss. Do rejected loss. Obliged. Chalo. Really matters, sir. Obvious course. But deeply obliged for case. Final thing, man. So patience. Dark it. Pardon me. Deciding a fresh according to the law. The contempt can be given in second call in second session. Petitioner who appears in person has not remained present and dismissed for non prosecution. Yeah. टुमोरो एस ओ टू करो सिंपल ट्वेंटी थर्ड
ultimately he was terminated on 9/11/1994 that order the gs challenge before the tribunal the tribunal order to fill out it can have a look at the page 14 okay. yeah where by below the, the tribunal passes the order that uh, not only he should be reinstated in service but he should be paid the regular salary from the date of appointment till he is terminated and thereafter he should be given the wages if you look at page 28 what because he was he has asked from 79 to 1994 the regular pay scale along with all the termination orders application in 1994 the tribunal passes the order granting below the arrears from 79 to 94 And from ninety-eight to below the till the tribunal decided up to two thousand. Take a look. What? He was the details now. Yes. Two thousand ten, the appeal is pending. Yes, there was a stay order. Qua <clears throat> rest, qua back wages. But so far as reinstatement part is concerned, after this he was already reinstated, and subsequently he is terminated in the year two thousand and eleven, which probably has filed before the tribunal. Oh, that is that termination. Reinstated and thereafter terminated. Terminated. That that subsequent order he has done. There were applications, but he was never taken on duty. And then the okay. Now you are already terminated, and that is that has been challenged in the tribunal. Tribunal in two thousand. Pending. Two thousand eleven is pending. Two thousand eleven. No one only a pending is. Tribunal may have some cases. Nothing pending. Sir, that's all. earlier two banks were there but now only one bank is there but there also the court is not working here below the earlier below if you logic can have a look at the order which was passed. where is his uh, appointment order yes if in fact below what has happened you logic he was a student in this uh, school uh, since he was having economic Uh, uh, financial uh, weak condition. He requested that I should be given some work. That's how, though he was not having qualification, he was given work. His in all appointment orders, it was uh, on his request that the term is extended for eleven months. And even kindly see about his uh, cross examination in the which is uh, reflected from the order uh, at page number four. Page seventeen. Page seventeen. Internal page four of the tribunal order. Or, or I, I will request you all to page sixteen. You like it? Or second last paragraph. Prastut karma pochkarani tatra tukma evi cheke. Am I with you on that? Yes. छूटा Two years, seventy-nine. Seventy years. Three years worked for so many years. Ten years. 
11 years. But that was also uh, for 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 certain period in in all these years. Very well. But what are the things? Atama na dumati sanska sanchali cheke ke mpyan ke na niche na pura ho. Tatha dastave jo adharo hoti to unno abhyas karo dharuri che. Atama aradani ulad tapa saalai sadhu to heli che. Jema aradhar kabul karel che ke baat saathi che ke a sama wali saala Muslim vidyarthi one chiksha na kuche. અને માત્ર મુસ્લિમ બાળકોના શૈક્ષણિક અને સામાજિક ઉત્કર્ષ અને વિકાસ માટે કાર્ય કરે છે એ વાત સાચી છે કે શાળામાં દર શુક્રવારે રજા હોય છે અને રવિવારે અડધો દિવસ ચાલુ હોય એ વાત સાચી છે કે શાળા વિક્ટોરિયા જુબીલી મદ્રેસા ટ્રસ્ટ દ્વારા ચલાવાય છે આ ટ્રસ્ટ આફ્રિકા ડરબન ખાતે સ્થાપિત થાય છે ત્યાંથી સંચાલન ચાલે છે શાળા તરફે માનદ મોહમ્મદ હની ગિગાણીએ તેમના સોગંદ ઉપરના પુરાવામાં જણાવ્યું છે કે વિક્ટોરિયા જુબેલી મદ્રાસા સ્થિત પોરબંદરનો જોઈન્ટ કમિટીનો પ્રેસિડન્ટ છું મારીની મુક ડરબન ટ્રસ્ટ ચેક કરી છે આ ડરબન ટ્રસ્ટ સાઉથ આફ્રિકા ખાતે ડરબન મુકાબલે આવેલ છે હવે આ આખું ટ્રસ્ટ નું આખું નામ પોરબદન મદ્રેસા ટ્રસ્ટ ડરબન તે તરીકે ઓળખાય છે વધુમાં તેમણે જણાવ્યું છે કે સધરવ ટ્રસ્ટમાં ત્રણ ટ્રસ્ટીઓ છે એ તમામ મુસ્લિમ છે આ ટ્રસ્ટ દ્વારા જે મદ્રેસા શાળા ચલાવે છે તેનો ખર્ચ ટ્રસ્ટ ભોગવે છે વગેરે રજૂઆત છે આ છત્રીસ નો દસ્તાવેજ રજૂ કરેલ છે તથા શાળાના સાહેબ ઇસ્લામ એ પણ પુરાવા રજૂ પુરાવામાં જણાવેલ છે સ્કૂલના તમામ ટ્રસ્ટીઓ મુસ્લિમ સમાજના છે આ શાળા લઘુમતી હતી તે મુસ્લિમ માંથી ચાલતી શાળા છે આ પુરાવા જોતા પણ શાળા લઘુમતી હોય તેમ જણાય છે આ અંગે નીચેના આ છત્રીસ આ દસ્તાવેજો જોતા જણાય છે કે શિક્ષણાધિકારી શ્રી કચેરીના એકવીસ બાર ચોરોના માને લઘુમતી યસ વાય બિકોઝ સો ફાર એઝ માઇનોરિટી ઇન્સ્ટિટ્યુશન આર કન્સર્ન ટ્રાઇબ્યુનલ પાસિસ ધી ઓર્ડર that uh, he should be paid the salary regular salary as prescribed by the government from time to time okay. that Very is one thing second thing lord the tribunal passes the order of uh, areas from the date of appointment that is 79 to 1994 the difference of lord salary which he was paid and which otherwise he is entitled as per the rules therefore i am pointing out because uh, so minority institution no, are not supposed to pay no, that is the judgment of the supreme court i i have already connect earlier you know the official office can have a look at the judgment of the supreme court. but what salary you are paying uh, 1500 at the relevant point of time everybody is paying <laughs> and that was that was, yeah same that is all, all teachers are all, all in the cross examination it is that be uh, and whatever he has received for all these years he has never uh, objected to it because no because they have, he has said that uh, it was agreed because as per the trust follow rules because we are not charging any fees from the student it is also an admission in the cross examination we are you know paying uh, the, <coughs> all the fees even education is you know uh, given to the students freely and that 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 is coming upon on record you know and i am also having the chief examination and cross examination in detail uh, the uh, respondent has admitted that yes at my request i am uh, given the work and uh, though i am not ptc uh, i was re- repeatedly asked to have the qualification of ptc i am given the chance of uh, acquiring the qualification of ptc therefore under that circumstances in that circumstances i have requested earlier also before the honorable court because he was earning so the tribunal has relied upon some primary education act act that uh, re- re- regulation is applicable to all therefore he, the minority schools are also supposed to pay the salary as per the, the judgment, judgment yes that is the supreme court decision uh, 2011 oh, the learned single judge has dealt with this judgment that, uh, unfortunately nobody remains pre- present before the learned single judge on behalf of the management and okay. the order was passed confirming page k પેરા 3 2 9 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 
Oh, that has been decided in this uh, the crux of the uh, cases like that that it is an unaided school and they are not responsible for giving this much amount of the salary. Yeah. That is the only thing which uh, the judge. Uh, but then how this tribunal has granted regular fees here? But the law is the thing is that because ultimately he was a teacher under but the but rules, teacher, rules, rules rules prescribed by the law. Of Bombay uh, High Secondary. No, but teacher means but it is whether yeah. this is applicable to this minority children. No, all all is it? Yes, that non non grantinated institutions are not supposed to pay the salary as prescribed by the government from time to time. That is the judgment which is followed now in all all the matters. Sir, Even tribunal is also following this judgment. judgment even, my learned friend is aware, and thereafter, if a lawship can have a look at On the last occasion, he lost Are you aware about the judgment that not? But he lost I'll see the present scenario, what has been happened, because there is a latest judgment also. He lost the Inam Dar, he lost I'll go through that. Inam Dar, na bada we go to that judgment also. Sir, take a bit. Have our judgment. Eloship, what had happened, Eloship? I'll I'll tell you, Eloship. That I forget that now terminated your challenge. But now, how this can be granted? रिटायर्ड गणसे <laughs> अरे काम तो कर डिसेम्बर <laughs> This pertains to grant of higher pay scale to two higher pay scale to the petitioner under the Malo uh, progression scheme, whereby if a uh, uh, workman completes nine, eighteen, and thereafter twenty seven years. Who appears? Do you have the papers, Malo? <laughs> Well, before I well, let's say the order of the run it seems like that I would give a few facts. Well, yes, sir, this is must. Yeah. Well, the petitioner hearing was appointed as a clerk in 1969. Well, to be exact, on 19 February 1969. 19 February 1969. Well, 69. Well, in July 83, well, he was promoted to a mam post of deputy mamlatdar. One. Please, well. 
but she was then again reverted back to its original post what but she was uh, appoint, uh, appointed on a temporary capacity as well. reverted in which year well it's 87 he was Just, reverted there was a closure of those posts at that time of mamlad dal and that is why man 1980 Seven months. Well, first in eighty three, then in eighty seven, again he is appointed and then reverted, and then by law, in finally in nineteen eighty nine, he. Lakma, that's all. Please, I'm sorry. You said that he was promoted on nineteen eighty three. Thereafter, reverted in which year? Well, it's reverted in eighty seven. Eighty seven. Thereafter, he was again promoted. Well, now regularly promoted in eighty nine to the post of deputy mamlad. Nineteen eighty nine. Yes. Well, the thereafter the appellant retired on my lord thirtieth June two thousand three. April. Thirtieth June two thousand three. Thirty six two thousand three. Two thousand three. Retired. Well, as per the say of the uh, appellant, my lord, since he had been uh, appointed as deputy mamlatdar in the year eighty three. From there till two thousand three, he had completed eighteen years on the state post, and therefore he was entitled to be granted two higher fees. They they are calculating from nineteen eighty nine. But they are not even calculating from nineteen eighty nine. They have the learned single judge in my humble and respectful submission has not dealt with that issue. And my lord, they say nineteen eighty nine to nineteen ninety seven. My lord, I have completed nine years at least at the post of deputy. Therefore, my lord, that goes without my lord. That cannot be contested. Yes, Mister. What? Two thousand nine nineteen eighty nine here. In first July nineteen eighty nine, my lords, the learned senior judge at page two, internal page two of the uh, order of the learned single judge, yeah. when the facts are observed, my lords, that there were two occasions wherein he was promoted to the post of deputy as a temporary post, my lords. First, due to the closure of that post, he was voted back. Then subsequently, in the year nineteen eighty seven, he gets promoted to the post again that as a temporary major and voted back in nineteen eighty nine. It is only on first July nineteen eighty nine, wherein he is promoted to the post. As a regular mode of promotion, right. my lords. But then calculate from nineteen eighty nine, the period of nine years, my lords would would 19, then be completed nineteen ninety eight, nineteen ninety eight, my lords. So, my lords, granted that nine nine years is not granted. No, no, no not my lords. Why? In fact, and it, partly it is required to be considered. That is undisputed, my lords. That. As in the on the previous occasion, the honourable court was pleased. The other coordinate bench was pleased to call the officers and make my lords even. They were of the view that for that nine years, it could not be my lords disputed because the contention that has been taken that he has not passed departmental exam is also. So he would be entitled for higher, higher at least for first higher. Lord, piece, one one first. contention which was raised was that one of his colleagues, my lords, had been given that. Uh, Forget that piece. now. But then, my lords, it is observed in by the learned single judge that in that case. Because he had passed the qualifier test, he was given. It is an admitted fact that till his retirement, my lord, he had not uh, given lord, the exam. Higher revenue qualifying examination, my lord, was not passed by him. When he passed, sir. my lord, he has not till his retirement. If my lord may what refer. What is the provision that paragraph seven? To pass the my lord, this is G. My lord, I am not having that gear. Well, they have annexed the GR with their reply. Page number. Well, page number one one zero seven would be relevant. मैं जो बॉटम मेरी तारीख सोन छोटी हूँ तारीख पांच सात दो हजार नौ नौ रोजे जिन्ही पहला तारीख के पर फोर्टी फाइव वर्ष नहीं उम्रे जेक कर्मचारी ये पूरी करी हसे ते उन्हें ते तारीख की खाते कि ये परीक्षा तपास करवा माथी मुक्ति परीक्षा पास करवा में तपास नहीं सॉरी मैंने पास पास करवा माथी मुक्ति � Cut off date uh, cleared the age of forty five. What I is have... your date of birth? My lord, please. Therefore, page sixty five for a moment. Are you saying date of birth? My date of birth is my lord nine six forty five ninth June forty. Hmm. I turned forty five on ninth June ninety. Now in that my lord may have page sixty five for a moment. Yeah. But uh, last much I'll read from the start only. उपरोक्त विषय संगीत जनावान के अत्रेना जिला भाईकम सोएंसो त्रिवेदी ना नामे सीजन कलेक्टर सचिवी पाटना तारीख सोएंसो नहीं हुआ थी तेमने जो उच्चतर लाइका परीक्षा पास ना करे लोवा थी तेवे तारीख 19 ना रोज 45 वर्ष नहीं मर्यादा पूर्ण करता हुआ थी सरकार चीना विभाग ना ठराव क्रमांक दिस इज दैट दिस इज इंटरनल कम्युनिकेशन बैक कलेक्टर मैं द लास्ट थ्री लाइन मालूम श्री त्रिवेदी ने मांगनी व्याज भी होवा नहीं देवने मांगनी अनवे देवने खाता कलेक्ट समथिंग सेड बाय कलेक्टर इज नॉट बाइंडिंग टू गवर्नमेंट इवन बट रिलाइंग अपॉन मैं इवन द फैक्चुअली आई हैव आई एम एग्जेम्प्टेड फ्रॉम द एम एज द 
uh, argument of my learned friend who are the my no which which year you are relying that after nine years which chapter has yeah did the same, same. year man. प्रथम उच्चतर पगार दोनों नंबर वाला पास है। बोलो मिस्टर। नो दैट सीम टू बी द ओनली थिंग। दैट ही हैड नॉट कंप्लीटेड। शुड बी कैलकुलेटेड फ्रॉम फर्स्ट जुलाई 1989। माय ओरिजिनली माय लॉज इन द पिटिशन माय सेव वाज फ्रॉम द रीएडजस्टमेंट। रीवर्ट है नहीं तो टेंपरेरी। रीएडजस्टमेंट। दें अदरवाइज � 98 onwards up to you retired and please. all benefits please manoj including manoj the pension and everything manage. and manoj yes. delay in granting the benefits i would be i in my humble and respectful submission manoj some interest would have been granted thank you sir aage agar koi aata hai what was your pay pay the interest areas with interest Mr. Goswami, you refer to the circular, right? Which we read at page 107. This circular has come into play on which date? Well, it is 16th August 1994. 16th August 1994. If we look at the page 107, Please, where the date has been referred is 5th of July 1991. Please, Please, that would be the date which would be taken into consideration on which date he would be required to complete 45 years, right? Please, so thereafter he would be before exempted from CPS, appearing. <coughs> exempted before from this, if he has completed 45, he is exempted. Before that? Before this cutoff date. So I have completed in 9 June 90. I have completed. The, the, the proviso reads as Tariq Paach Saat Dikanu Na Roj Ke Te Pehla Ni Tariq 45 Varsh Ni Umar Je Karam Chari Puri Kari Hashe Teo Ne Tariq E Te Tariq Thi Khatiya Pia Parikshan Ni Tapas Karama Pas Karama Ji Mukti Paas So Khata Kiya Parikshan would be lower revenue qualified Yes Yes He had completed 45 years he, he was 46 on yes. that day. Yes. His date of birth is 9645. That that observation probably not raised at that relevant point of time. But then it is an admitted fact that till his retirement, the higher qualifier says he had never appeared. Oh, but then, but then the that exemption is there always. That was the only reason why yes. he was yes. been yes. yes. He would be entitled for first for the first. Grade from treating as if he has promoted on the post of this deputy Mamlita. On 1st July 1989. Wherein he by regular, regular, regular mode he was promoted. So if we look, look at the facts, he was already appointed as Deputy Mamlet. Because my Lord, the earlier were just adjustments, my Lord. And the learned single the also observed that the readjustments of dates cannot be claimed as a right for uh, getting uh, the, the higher pay scale. Now he is promoted to the post of the through regular mode on 1st July 1989. That is an admitted fact. So, my Lord, if at all anything accrues, it will accrue post that. So, the next promotional post would have been Pranth Officer or the. Had he, but, but he retired at, uh, in 2003 as Deputy Mamladar only. Had he had any promotional cadre wise, he would have gone to Mamladar. But then, my Lord, at, in 2003, he, uh, he retires. In 2003. Yes, my Lord. Next. Since there was a stagnation of nine years for that first higher pay scale, of course. So this would be accrued pursuant to the circular of 16 July 1992. <laughs> The 
petition was prepared by the heirs of the original employee. Mr. Goswami, the because petitions the are the heirs. Had passed my law in 2003 when the SCA was passed. 2003. During the pending petition. Pending the petition here, that's right. Yes. The appellants here are the original petitioners who are the heirs and legal representatives. Employee. Shri Shirish Chandra Tivedi, who expired pending the petition. The challenge is to the oral judgment dated 30th April 2010, passed by the Lamex Ledger, whereby the challenge to the action of non grant of benefits. For first and second higher grade on completion of nine years and eighteen years of service in the cadre of Deputy Mamladar based on the circular dated 16 July 1994 came to be dismissed. Next. The facts as pleaded by the original petitioner briefly summarized as under the petitioner was appointed to the post of clerk under the respondent state on 19th February 1969. Thereafter, the petitioner was original petitioner was promoted to the post of deputy member on 16 July 1983. However, because of closure of post of Mamladar and since other similarly situated Mamladars were required to be accommodated, the original petitioner was reverted back. His original cadre. On 1st of July 1989, the petitioner came to be regularly promoted to the post of Deputy Mamlata and he had continued on the said post till his retirement on 30th of June 2002. Next. It is the case of the petitioner, original petitioner, that he had. Moved an who he had moved an application way back in the year 2001 seeking benefits of higher grade pay scale in terms of the circular dated 16 July 1994. However, the respondent state authorities had not acceded to such request. And the grievance of the petitioner was not addressed. In such circumstances, the petitioner, original petition was constrained to approach this court in voting extraordinary jurisdiction of this court under Article 226 of the Constitution of India. The original petitioner had prayed for following reliefs. We reproduce the prayers which has been prayed for. It will be at page 14 in the petition. Any, any reply was filed by the state? Yes, it was filed. <coughs> page 78 onwards. 78 onwards. Considering the elements made in the petition, the court had issued notice calling upon the respondent state authorities. In response to such notice, comma, respond number two, collector pattern of file and affidavit.
and have objected to entitlement of the benefits in terms of government resolution dated 16th August 1994. It was mainly contended by the state. The original petitioner shall not be entitled to such benefits as originally the petitioner was reverted back to the post of Mamlada and the readjustment date is not to be considered for the purpose of higher scale. The another argument this was enlarged by the respondent state authority was that pursuant to the application made by the original petitioner dated 1st of January 2002. The proposal was submitted to the state to consider his case for exemption, considering the fact that he had already completed 45 years However, the same was written back by the response number one state, we deleted it at 12th March 2003. Ultimately, the claim of the petitioner was denied by response number one, we deleted it at 24th of June 2003. The attention of the court was invited to the resolution dated 16th August 1994, wherein reference was made to para three of the said resolution, which clearly states that after completion of nine years of service on 1st of June 1987, such employee shall be entitled to get benefit of first higher grade. And then it would be followed by the benefit of second higher grade upon completion of 18 years of service. It was further submitted that the petitioner having not completed nine years. So petitioner, it was submitted that in the case of the petitioner, nine years was completed in the clerk cadre on 1st of June, 1987. And was recruited on 19th February 1969, as he was recruited on 19th February 1969 for the post of clerk. And having not passed the lower revenue qualifying examination, <coughs> the demand of petitioner. is rightly not exceeded to. Next. We learn it single judge. After hearing the learned advocates for the respective parties and upon appreciation of the record, as held as under, will reproduce per IOT. Next. Mr. Vilas Goswami, we have heard Mr. Vilas Goswami, learned advocate, appearing for the appellant. And Mr. Prigodi, learned assistant government leader, appearing for the respondent state authorities. Mr. 
Mr. Swami has invited our attention to the relevant dates and has submitted that beloved single judge has committed serious error in coming conclusion that the appellant having not passed the lower revenue qualifying examination after a period of 13 years for promotion to the post of deputy mandate that comma, shall not be entitled to the benefits of higher grade scale. At this stage, he invited our attention to the date of birth of the petitioner which is 9th of June, 1945. He further submitted that the original petitioner completed 45 years on 9th of June, 1990. He further invited our attention to the government resolution dated 16th August, 1994, more particularly at page 107. And he submitted that in view of the aforesaid proviso, the, the original petitioner was required to be exempted, was required to be considered for benefit of the first, at least uh, would be entitled for the benefits of at least first higher grade pay scale, considering the exemption is provided there under he therefore urge to consider the case of the original petitioner for entitlement of at least first higher grade pay scale and the consequential benefits which may arise next on the other hand Mr. Trigedi, learned assistant government leader, has referred to and relied upon the affidavit in reply filed by the state authorities. He supported the interim judgment, oral judgment passed by the learned senior judge and submitted that the original demand of the petitioner to get benefit of higher pay scale from the first date of the first appointment as deputy mandat that is from July 1983 is rightly not been entertained by the learned single judge. He further submitted that The petitioner was thereafter reverted back due to closure of the post of Mamladar. And thereafter, he was appointed, he was given regular appoint promotion to the post of Deputy Mamladar from 1st of July 1989. Thus, comma, readjustment of the date has rightly not been considered by the learned single judge. Even otherwise, era three into bracket 12 of the government resolution dated 16th August 1994 clearly shows that there is a restriction with regard to the adjustment of date. We further submitted that the petitioner having not passed the lower revenue qualifying examination, which otherwise he was expected to clear, having been promoted way back since year 1989, the benefits have not been given, have not been extended to the, 
rightly not been extended by the state authorities to the original petitioner. We therefore urge this court to not, not to entertain the present appeal. Let me just let me just take one small yes. question. So the policy which my learned friend is taking reliance is the 94 policy. Yes. Hello, whenever there was a they were above hato for further progression in career manoj this first high pace second high pace was given so he already received a promotion for the post of deputy mamlad that through regular post so now the second manoj would accrue after 18 years manoj the what appears to have what appears to have had happened is that because that period of 18 years he retired so that that is why my lord this has not accrued to him. it did not be 9 and 18 but then my lord he already received that promotion that promotion avenue was available to him and through that avenue, he received the promotion of Deputy Mamlad Dharma in the year 1989 by qualifying the low examination. He did not qualify or appear for the Dhuwaya higher examination, is an admitted fact. But my lord, the lower examination, he cleared after a period of 13 years and he got the promotion avenue of Deputy Mamlad Dharma. Thus, the second higher pay scale, which he then would not be intended to receive, he could only have received if he had completed 18 years of second of service, my lord. That was my. No, but Deputy, the Deputy Mamlad Dhar... After nine years, what would happen? He would, would not be entitled for higher, another first higher grade. Hello, after he continued as deputy Mamlatar, after nine years, what would be the. He would have. Uh, then, he has continued as deputy Mamlatar for nine years. But what? The, the only reason why it is not to him was because he was given the uh, promotion as in the cadre of. But the, then he has to retire after nine years as a deputy Mamlatar itself. <laughs> After nine years, if he has not, if there is no post available or vacant for promotion, then after nine years, not after one or nine years, I think the whole object was to see that if there is stagnation in a particular no. category, then otherwise he would be compensated by way of. But otherwise, what my by, by the logic of my learned friend, that if I get two promotion, the third promotion I will get at a post when I work for twenty seven years, on a post, which is which is never will be yeah. possible. But then on facts, we may be, if we may stand correct. What you said is that he has uh, passed the lower level. The lower level. In, in fact, my lord, the learned yes. single judge also yes. observes the same. If my lord will have the internal page four of the judgment. Yes. I may just read this paragraph, paragraph yes. eight. As per resolution, we did so and so. After completion of nine years of service on 1687, such employee would get the benefit of higher pay, higher uh, first higher grade, and then he would be entitled to receive. Second higher grade after completion of 18 years of service. In the case of the petition, same cadre, he has to work for 18 years. That is your submission. I was just, uh, I was no, just. What we want to know, you may submit. But suppose the, he has to work for Clark for 18 years, then he would be, after 18 years, he would be entitled. But then, my lord, if, if that, if the feeder post is of the Clark, lord, if there was stagnancy and no aspects of promotion available to him, that is why this, uh, this policy was brought out. That if your Cadre does not have any promotional same, avenue. Same no? analogy is not applicable to the post of deputy member. Yes, my lord. But then I, I was just no same. We are just asking. Yes, my lord. I, I got same it. analogy is not applicable <coughs> would be, to would the be, post of be, deputy member. I was just reading this paragraph to a few factual aspects uh, that may be brought on record. So the only order seems to be with regard to not qualifying the examination. The higher, the higher, knows. the higher, which he never appeared for. If my lord will have paragraph eight. Yes. The petitioner was recruited in the middle. Yes. The petitioner was recruited on 19 to 1969 for the post of clerk. After a lapse of more than 13 years of service, he had passed the lower revenue qualifying examination in the month of August 1982, which was compulsory for the promotion in the cadre of Deputy Mamladar. The first post promotion from the post of clerk. That, that he passed only 1992? 1982, my lord. Oh, 82. 82. So he was regularly appointed thereafter in thereafter, the year in 1989. 1989. Yes, right? yes. So that hurdle had gone. That hurdle had gone. I but was then, just bringing yes, that yes. Uh, because my lord found some somewhere outside. At one stage, I was saying that, that, that is why this is required to be That correct. is why I was just bringing yes, this. But then otherwise, after 1989, having been promoted to the post of deputy Mamlada, thereafter he is expected to get promotion only on quali qualifying by that appearing in exam of higher level which he did not. He did not. He did not. So then we can refer to that uh, exemption. That exemption. That having been that completed. That exemption. 45 years. years. Because that 45 years age was also obtained by then. Yes. That is a high grade. 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 Yes. That is a high grade.
So on a, from eighty nine, it would be plus nine years, oh, which yeah, is not promoted. So ninety eight from ninety eight, it would be at that. My submission was at the age, but then yes. the, uh -huh. logical submission would only be that at the end of nine years. We have carefully gone through the judgment, the oral judgment passed by the learned single judge, as well as have examined the record. Having heard the learned counsels appearing for the respective parties. Indisputably, the petitioner, original petitioner. was appointed on the post of Deputy Mamladar on 1st of July, 1989, having passed the lower revenue qualifying examination in the month of August, 1982, which is otherwise compulsory for promoting, for promotion to the post of Deputy Mamladar. The petitioner was recruited on the post of clerk. Originally was was appointed on the post of clerk on 19th February 1969. Very, he had completed more than 13 years. Then we will say that now having been qualified, cleared the quali and lower revenue qualifying examination, he was promoted to the post of deputy which was the first promotion from the post of clerk. In such circumstances, the readjustment date has rightly not been considered by the learned single judge for the purpose of counting of period of service for extending the benefit of the higher grade pay scale. However, former, the fact remains that the original petitioner having been appointed, having been promoted, regularly promoted to the post of Deputy Mamladar since 1st of July, 1989, had continued on the same post till he retired, that is on 30th of June, 2003. Indisputably, the original petitioner was continued in, in the same cadre for more than 14 years, for around 14 years. If one look at the circular, dated 16th of August, 1994. The sole object of extending the benefit of higher grade pay scale is to compensate the employee who otherwise would be promoted and having not been promoted and have continued on the same post. In the case of the petitioner, comma, the state has refused to extend such benefit considering the fact that the original petitioner had failed to appear in higher qualifying revenue exam examination. Mr. Goswami has rightly relied upon the proviso.
page 107 of the circular. This proviso is forming part of circular of 1994 or 16th August 94. 16th August 94. 16th August 1994. Very. It is provided that any employee who has completed 45 years of services prior to 5th of July 1991 are exempted from appearing in department examinations. And after 1 6 1987, such employees shall be entitled <coughs> to first higher grade scale on completion of nine years of service in a particular cadre, having not been promoted or having remained stagnant in a particular cadre for more than nine years. We could notice that the, petition, the original petitioner had completed 45 years of service on 9th of June, 1990 which is after the date specified in the aforesaid proviso, which is 5th of July, 1991. Thus, comma, the original petitioner having completed more than 45 years would be entitled to get benefit of such exemption from appearing in appearing from departmental examination. We are of the view that the learned single judge committed error while not accepting the case of the original petitioner with regard to his entitlement of first higher grade in the cadre of deputy Mamladar from the date when he completed nine years of his service. Thus, the present appeal is partly allowed we declare that the present pit original petitioner shall be entitled to the benefits of first higher grade on completion of nine years of his service in the cadre of deputy Mamlata, that is from 1st of July, 1998. 8 weeks from today. From date of receipt of the order. From date of receipt of the order. All other consequential benefits which may accrue. Also granted in favor of the original petitioner. The respondent state authorities are further directed to make payment of such amount within period of that we have said right from the yes. failing which they would be entitled to interest at the rate of six percent. We further direct that such amount may be distributed, dispersed between yeah, number one. Son and daughter. Equally we are directed to distribute equally amount to Okay. If the amount is not paid within six weeks, you will pay six percent interest. I will just point out that. I will also follow this observation that circular. 
<laughs> yes. Next. Number sixty-eight. Then we have fourteen of twenty. Number of the the Same after the second call. Then we have to put the are not present. However, the of justice stand over. Tenth January. I think in the appeal, I have gone to the appeal. Right? Appeal admits a fact. Is that When I entered my appeal, it was only Yes. I'm appearing for the petition. Here, challenge is to a decision of Gandhi the Pandya. You are there, Mr. The Union of India means you are you are there or not on panel? No, sir. No, two councils are there. Mr. Pandya and Ms. Rawal. Ms. Rawal is for some prize. Is no, it's a commissioner, I believe. Achha. Respondent four is the commissioner. Send a message. I'm not sure. 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 i what is the matter? First. Issue, my lord, is simple. The uh, petitioner was uh, compulsorily retired departmental inquiry. Thereafter, um, the CAT has upheld the order. The only point now that remains is that all the co accused in the original incident that happened in 1993, all the co accused right from the commissioner, the uh, present petitioner was an inspector at the relevant point of time. The commissioner, the assistant commissioner, a co inspector, and the appraisers. All of them have been uh, exonerated at various levels, either the departmental or in a legal forum. What was your post? I was an inspector. The allegation, in essence, was that a, a company had um, imported uh, lead scrap, uh, had declared lead scrap, but actually it was importing ball bearings. So the um, misdeclaration aspect was. Uh, so after full department inquiry, please. You are, you are compulsory retired. Please. That happened in which year? The original order of compulsory retirement, my lords, was in 2001. Thereafter, that order was struck down by the uh, tribunal. And the latest order, my lords, would be in 2006. 2009, my lords. The, the, the last. Yeah, in the interest of justice. Inform the other side. Yes. I, I have already taxed. Yes, before the First December. Here, my lords, uh, no reply is filed till now. In fact, on a previous occasion, on six yes. five, please, please, please. 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 the whole inquiry report would be there. Yeah, my lords, petitioners are petitioner is facing a stigmatic reversion. Before entering into the dispute, I may give the little background of the uh, case. My Lord's postal department in India is having one wing that is postal life insurance. Postal Lord, life 
postal life insurance life insurance yeah. lordships the business of the postal life insurance is categorized in three formats first is at the central level that is the directorate level say uh, at the state level it is the circle and at the district level it is the division with the depending upon the business in the particular divisions few divisions are clubbed together and some divisions are having independent uh, cadres for the purpose of the development of business let me explain lordships with an example for for junagadh and porbandar division there was only one division and one group group leader who would be working for the development of the business for uh, uh, for amdavad and mehsana amdavad gandhinagar it will be only one in that manner few group of uh, few divisions were clubbed together but with the advent of the you new you are at present you are working at damnagar no lot uh, no lot ships they have posted us but we are we have not joined that post why lot ships uh, because uh, petitioner is of the view that it is the illegal reversion it is because of the erroneous interpretation he has been reverted because this order is of december 20 yes lot ships he is so adamant and if my learned friend say uh, there is not a single word arising out of his pleading before cat also or here also about stigmatic reversion lot ship all over india this was the scheme uh, introduced by the central government for the postal department or here uh, and here it was known as group leaders now they are considered and called as development officer in reply i have stated the scale such scale says everywhere the the feeling of the petitioner does not affect it is anyway. it is the incentive which is playing the role this was a I just was very sad. It was hurt. I mean, initially at at admission stage, it was days before this. Yes. Lord, the whole issue cropped up after the new incentive. scheme has been introduced in the in on 196 to 2020 you are work, you are working you are at present what you are doing i am jobless lordships i am not paid even the single penny from no, the but department. then by entry order you are permitted to work at damnagar you are not you did not resume it, even after the communications your lordships has, sorry sorry just one word he has stuck to this order that if i will work i will work as development officer or i lordships uh partially what my learned friend is saying is true but the real fact remains that because of the erroneous interpretation of the department he has been reverted the fact remains that if my lords may kindly see the policy which is at page number 37 onwards your lordships you are the only person Yes, lordships. How many persons were reverted? Nine persons were reverted, of which only I have filed the petition, lordships. Because the uh, the interpretation or the feeling of the petitioner is reversal. Otherwise, it is just reposted. The word has changed. The salary is same. Salary is also yes, same. Yes, sir. But on FDI, I have said so. Salary is same. Only part is sir incentive. Everybody works with this development officers are required to take business from. postal life insurance and recurring post life yes, like lic yes, if how uh, the as many members he uh, engages or uh, appoint he will get little part of from every member yeah. so he is interested or locked on to that word only he, we have offered him twice thrice that please sir come and join at least you start working he says no except development officer otherwise i'll know i'll not come he must be working somewhere else yes sir i have no to I my instructions to place on record that investigation to my report. to my instructions have you since i have instructed my officer but I, yet but I since past 4 months he is bedridden because of accident <laughs> he is bedridden oh. i have filed the claim petition of him <laughs> he is bedridden so we will see there is no lot ships uh, there is uh, uh, the they have institute uh, they have initiated the departmental inquiry against us you your lot ships better you join your lordships at this stage if if they permit us we are agreeable to join subject to this uh, 
we are agreeable to join. It is not the issue that I may not join. Agreeable now. to what? To join the post. To of, join who is you? Yes. But but ask him to join. The lordship. Ask him to join from first December. We will keep this on eighth December. Yes. I shall ask him to join. Your lordships, the so to wait. Your lordships, the difficulty is that the departmental inquiry against him has been commenced by the department, and it is on eighteenth of this month. You ask for an adjournment. You consider. He has stated that this is the point that if you are not coming, there is no disposition. But that's why you are not. Coming. Yes. So, in With those, it is better, Mister. Yeah. Consider your lordship. Start. Your lordship. Working. I may start yeah. working, your lordships. But if this, it is an issue of not more than ten minutes, your lordships. Ah, but do what? Yes. First, let him show his bona fide. That is that is not the issue at all for us. You advise your client. Your yeah, lordships. A K Pramana Vakil ne na bolwa ne. Vakil A K Pramana client. After lordships, after I'm the third person <laughs> who is the advocate. I have advised him. I have advised him on the very first day. I have advised him on the very first day that he should have joined the post. Now he is agreeable to join the post. Then you ask him to join. Eight, please. Your lordship, I would request that that thing may be noted. That. No, no. He is a joint. 